Hi, my name is Nora. Now, I am back with another OET roleplay. Before passing to it please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Comment your doubts and suggestions below. Mr. Alex will join with us to perform a patient role. Hi. Hello, Mr. Alex. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Same here, Ms. Nora. We can start the role play now. Here is your task. You have three minutes to prepare. Good morning. My name is Nora, the nurse who will take care of you today. Ah, good morning. How may I address you? You can call me Alex. Well, Mr. Alex, you seem really anxious. Would you mind telling me the reason? Yes, nurse. I am really upset. Because the doctor said that a blood transfusion would start now. See, I am scared of it. I can understand your fear. Don't worry Mr. Alex. It is very safe and a simple procedure. I will be with you during this procedure and will try my best to make you comfort. Nurse, the accident was a minor one, and I am perfectly all right now. Still, why it is necessary to receive blood? All right, your accident was minor. However, you have lost a significant amount of blood. Your blood reports show that you are having inadequate hemoglobin level. Therefore we need to restore adequate blood in your body. I'm okay. But I don't think it is safe. I have read many times about the fallouts of blood transfusion. I know that infections like HIV could spread by it. Your concern is reasonable. Thank you for telling me about it. Let me explain to you a few things for the clarification of your doubts. Okay. Before obtaining blood from a donor, the person undergoes several blood tests. These are to find out whether the person is having any kind of infection such as HIV or hepatitis. Blood is receiving from a person only after it has been proven that there is no infection of any kind. The collected blood is stored in a refrigerator with proper labeling. Now, you might have understood that the chances of getting an infection from a blood transfusion are minimal. Yes, I get it. Still, I am worried. It is the first time I am going to receive blood. I know how it feels. Please try not to worry much. I can assure you that it is a safe and simple procedure. And, we all are here with you. I want to know the procedure and about if there any risks are expecting while receiving someone else's blood. Could you please let me know about that? Definitely, it is my responsibility. And, I am pleased to talk about it. The first step is to ensure by a doctor that the blood is safe to transfuse. Then, a line will place on your body in an aseptic way and will start the infusion. Prior to that, we will check your pulse rate, temperature, respiratory rate and blood pressure. Moreover, a nurse will be with you throughout the procedure to monitor. If the nurse notices anything unusual or any reaction, the transfusion will be stopped and immediately informed to doctor. Are you getting what I am saying? Yes, of course. How long does it take to complete? Well, it will take only three to four hours. We maintain hygiene and the aseptic way throughout the process. So I could say that it would be safe and has the least risk. Oh, really? Yes, Mr. Alex. How do you feel now? I appreciate that blood transfusion is safe. That's great. So, may I do the arrangements for blood transfusion? Okay. I cannot deny it, as you are saying that it is very important for my health. Yes. We need to start it immediately to prevent the chances of getting any further complications. Hmm. I agree with you. Well, I feel happy with your decision. I will come back soon with all the arrangements. Take rest.
Thank you. That's the end of the roleplay. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.